Hey, what's up everybody? DJ Beneficial checking in once again, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to do something in OBS that I think your audience is gonna find pretty entertaining. So for today's episode, I'm gonna teach you how to do something called the multiverse effect. And basically what that is, is a way to create a bunch of clones of yourself that all follow and mimic your movement. And there's no plugins required, just a couple different settings that you can do. There's actually two different ways that you can do this. And I'm gonna teach you both of those in today's video. So let's not waste any more time, let's jump right in. All right, welcome back everybody. So for those of you guys who may be new here, I just wanna give a quick introduction. My name is DJ Beneficial. I'm a radio DJ for 99.1 KGGI out in Riverside, California, as well as Dash Radio The City in Los Angeles. And I've been live streaming for several years. In my channel, I just like to share with you guys things that I've learned in my adventures being a radio, nightclub, and live stream DJ. So if you guys are interested in learning more about content creating, building your brand, DJing, and live streaming, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. I'm gonna be putting out a new video every week, Wednesday at noon Pacific time, and I'm gonna be covering a different topic in each episode. So if you wanna learn more, be sure to subscribe. So that's what my channel is about. Now let's talk about what today's video is about, which is creating the multiverse effect in OBS. And like I said before, that's a way to create a bunch of clones of yourself that all follow and mimic your movement. Now there's two things that you're gonna to need to pull this off. You're gonna need adequate lighting. I would recommend just getting some studio lights from Amazon. I think they're about 50 bucks a piece and they come with the stand and everything. So um, you just need to get maybe like two of them so that there's no like shadow or anything on your face. And the other thing that you're gonna need is a green screen. So really any green screen will do. You just need a green screen to be up there behind you so that you can crop yourself out of the background. And once you have both of those things set up, you're ready to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set up my green screen and we're gonna get right into it. Alright, so starting off with clone effect style number one, with a blank slate, go down to your sources and click video capture device. You can rename it if you like, if not, just go ahead and click OK. Pick your device and make sure that in each additional source you use the same device. Once you have the one you want, go ahead and click OK. And before we lock it in, we're going to go to filters. You either do a right click if you're on a PC, two finger click if you're on a Mac. The effect filter we're gonna add is a crop slash pad. And what we wanna crop out is just any of the viewing area that you don't want the audience to see. So in my case, I don't want them to see any of the white part of the wall. So go ahead and crop that on the left. Go ahead and crop it on the right. And just takes a moment. And just do it till you think you got it all the way to the edge. Crop out some of that top if there's any of your top showing. Now, it's not really much I can do about this top camera being in the way, but that's okay. I can still show you how to do this. Go ahead and crop out some of the bottom if you like as well. It's entirely up to you. And before you click close, we're also going to add a chroma key. Now, if you have any of that fuzz showing, you either need better lighting or you just need to change the filter a little bit. Now the chroma key has shown that there is still part of the white wall that's visible. So we're just gonna tweak it a little bit till we get all the way up to the edge so that none of it's showing. That looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and click close. Put DJ Beneficial right here in the middle. And go ahead and lock them in. Now normally what I'd like to do is copy and paste a duplicate. I don't want to paste a reference because that affects it. If I do any changes, it affects them all. I want to paste a duplicate. Since I can't do that, it's grayed out for some reason. We're just going to create another video capture device. And just make sure that you pick the same camera source. Go ahead and click OK. Let's move device number two down to the bottom. Go back to number one and we're going to copy the filters and then we're going to paste them on the device number two. That way it already adds the crop and already adds the chroma key. And we're gonna put the second one just a smidge off to the right. And we'll go ahead and lock him in. And let's do a third one. Video capture device again. Number three this time. Pick the same camera source. Go ahead and click OK. Lower number three all the way down to the bottom. Make sure number two is in the middle. And we're gonna paste the same filter. And let's drag 
like it just about the same distance off to the right again. Go ahead and lock them in and that gets rid of the red line. Now we're gonna to go to video capture number two and we're gonna add a different filter this time. We're gonna add a render delay. Now you can only go up to 500 milliseconds. So we're gonna do 250 for the first one. And you can see the one in the middle is a little bit off in the timing now. We're gonna to go to video capture number three, add filter. And we're also gonna add a render delay. This one is gonna be for 500 milliseconds. And you can add more if you like. You just have to do all the increments about the same distance. Now you see the second one and third one kind of trail behind me. Whatever I do, they'll copy my, my actions. And here's something fun you can do to take it to even an extra level. Now let's go back to video capture number two and we're gonna add another filter called color correction. And this is gonna make a color overlay for that layer. So go down to select color, let's pick, uh, let's pick hot pink and go ahead and click OK. And as you see, it's all completely covered in that color. You can change the opacity if you wanna have your image bleed through a little bit. You don't have to, that's entirely up to you. Play with the settings if you like. Now you see the one in the middle's been colored. Let's go ahead and do the same thing to video capture number three. We're gonna add a color correction again. And this time, let's pick a different color. Let's go for royal blue. Click OK, click Close. And now you have kind of a different looking effect. So I think this is kind of fun here. This is something that will add a little extra entertainment if you like. And you can turn it on and off if you like. You can just click that eyeball if you don't like it. Now here's something too. You can also move it to where they're all directly behind you. And that will give you a little bit of an outline but they won't be visible unless you actually move. And there it is. This is what it looks like. And I think this is just something extra, something creative to make your live stream look a little more fun. And what's good about this one is you can add a background. So if you're video DJing or if you have some kind of visuals behind you when you're DJing, you get to keep the colorized clone effect and your videos still show through. So it's just something to kind of make your live stream look a little bit more interesting. This is what it would basically look like if you had this effect going while you were DJing some videos. And there it is. Okay, and now for clone effect style number two. So you want to go down, do a video capture device, and you're only going to need to do one this time. So pick the device you want to use, click OK. And we gotta do the same thing again. We gotta add a chroma key, and we're gonna do that first this time. And I believe 415 was where we left off last time. Before you hit close, we're gonna go over and we're gonna add a crop slash pad. And basically do the same thing as the first one. This is the only part that's the same as the other one is you gotta do the same thing to the first video capture device. You gotta add the crop pad and you gotta add the chroma key and you gotta crop out anything you don't want the audience to see. So it is easier if you do the chroma key first. That way you can make sure that there is nothing extra on the sides and just get that all done the first time. And go ahead and move anything out of the way that you don't want the audience to see. Whatever is showing in the camera's viewing area is also going to be duplicated. So anything you don't want to be duplicated, move out of the way. And let's go ahead and resize Beneficial over here into the middle. And it should have a feature where it kind of just snaps to the middle if you're not sure where the middle exactly is. Go ahead and lock that in. Let's get that red line out of the way. Now for the second thing we're going to do is a window capture device. And the window you're going to capture is your OBS screen. Go ahead and click OK. Now you see these stripes over here on the right, that means that your screen is too big. So we're gonna have to go ahead and resize that. So go ahead and grab that little square in the top left corner and drag it down. Make sure you don't miss the square or you'll just be moving it. You gotta hit that square and drag it and that'll resize it. And you just want it to fit inside the viewing area. You already see that multiverse effect starting to kick in and it's pretty crazy because it goes on till infinity. 
Now make sure the video capture device is on top of the window capture device. Let's go ahead and lock it in, get rid of that red line, and let's add a filter to the window capture device. We're gonna do a crop slash pad. And what we're doing now is we're eliminating any of the OBS screen. I already know what the dimensions are for my computer, which is 373 for the left, 373 for the right, 60 for the top, and for the bottom, I forget, I think it's like 515 or 525. So if you're not sure though, just go ahead and drag it. Just hold up on the cross pad and you can see it as it's being deleted. So just go ahead and drag it all the way until there is no extra line showing there. That looks good right about there. And go ahead and click close. And now you see you have duplicates of yourself that go on until infinity. Now you can angle this any way you want. You can have it to the side, you can have it going up, you can have it going you know, any direction that you like. And you don't have to worry about adding a render delay in this one because it automatically adds a render delay. So this is what it would look like when you're DJing. So the clones of yourself will all just kind of trail off until, until you can't see them anymore. So this is the one that really has the biggest payoff because you have clones that just go on forever. Now what you can do here also is you can resize the window capture device to entirely fill in the screen. This is where it gets kind of crazy. Because as you can see, it just never stops. And for some reason, after a while, you start turning red. I don't really know why it does that, but that's what it does. So those clones of yourself will follow you forever. Whatever you do, they're gonna do. Now this does actually use a good amount of CPU, so just be careful when you're doing it. Make sure you don't have a super complicated scene if this is the clone style that you wanna use. You can have a lot of fun with this though, man. You can really goof around with this. Now, if you wanna just clear your background, what you wanna do is copy the video capture device in another scene and this time we are going to paste a duplicate let's go ahead and lock that in and just give it a few seconds here to give it time to kind of process you count down from five or count down from ten and then we'll go back it doesn't always work but it should actually clear out the background didn't seem to do it that time for me but sometimes that will work it might just be my computer it might work better for you All you gotta do is switch from one scene back to the other. And I know it's not working for me right now, but it has worked for me in the past where it completely starts over. And this is what it will look like when you're DJing and you have this clone effect that just goes on forever. Pretty cool effect, pretty interesting. There's a lot of fun things you can do. Like this, for example. And that's what I call the multiverse effect. But essentially, it's just making a bunch of clones of yourself. And there it is. All right, well, that's all the time that we have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys learned something new. And if you did, the only thing I ask is if you could drop a like, drop a sub to my channel, and let me know in the comments what you guys want to learn more about. And I'll always do my best to accommodate. Like I said before, I'm going to be uploading a video every Wednesday at noon Pacific time. And the topics I generally cover are creating content, building your brand, live streaming, and DJing. So if you guys want to learn more about that kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe. Other than that, I just want to say thank you everybody who took the time to watch the video today. And I'll catch up with you guys soon on the next one. Peace.